Today we are talking about signs of labor. I'm talking about the signs a pregnant woman should look at and get to know that she is about to deliver. And these features are very significant in such a way that when you see them, you should hurry to your midwife, you should hurry to your gynecologist, you should hurry to your hospital for you to deliver a bouncing baby. Let's look at them. Ask Dr. Othman. Hello my very good viewers, welcome to Ask Dr. Uthman YouTube channel, a channel where you learn medicine at the comfort of your living room. I told you if you'd like to get in touch with me, to have a private chat, a private conversation, go to my website www.drothman.com and book an appointment. We shall talk, we shall discuss your issue and probably find a solution to it. You can also find us on all our social media platforms. The name is Ask Dr. Uthman. Ask any question of your choice, we shall be right there to answer you. By the way, YouTube recognized us and rewarded us with a silver medal. And this medal goes out to you all, my viewers. This is not my medal. This is not the medal of Dr. Uthman or Ask Dr. Uthman YouTube channel, but the medal for everyone who watches, who follows Ask Dr. Uthman. This is your medal and cheers up whoever is watching today. So now, let's go back to business. What are the signs of labor? This is very, very important. Actually, this is one of the most important topics. It's a topic I feel I should explain to my viewers. It's a topic I feel I should explain to my followers so that they get this. Why? We have seen several women delivering by the roadside. A woman is at work and she delivers from there. A woman, there is a story which I, 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 I watched, it, I think it was in Norway, and a woman delivered while asleep. She was in bed, and all of a sudden, the baby, boom, she delivered. And this, is so, this topic is very important for every woman, for every pregnant woman, every woman that plans to conceive, so that you can understand the signs, the salient features, the, the symptoms you can look at and get to know that, Probably I am about to deliver and I need to see either my midwife, gynecologist, or I have to go to my hospital for, for, for me to deliver a baby. Now, what are these signs? The first sign I will talk about, the first sign of labor. But first of all, what is labor? Because some of you may be there and may not know what labor is, especially some men. Labor is that period when a woman is ready to deliver. Is the period when the woman is body, the uterus, the hormones, and the baby itself are ready to get out. So this is the process of labor. Now, for you to get to know that labor has begun, there must be number one, a show. A show. We are not talking about a musical show, but we are talking about a show. A show is a cervical mucus plug. There is, the, uh, at, the muc at the cervix, there happens to be a mucus plug. And that mucus plug is jelly-like. It has a pink color, jelly-like and pinkish. So it happens to come on the, at, at, on the tip or at the tip of the cervix. And that plug sometimes is mixed with blood or it's blood or it has just some spottings of blood. And that is what we call a show. At times it happens as one blob. However, in most times you may find different blobs or different leakages of those mucus plugs and that is what we call a show. So if you, you are pregnant and probably your, 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 your baby has reached term, you've reached the nine months, what we call the nine months, or what we call the 40 weeks, 37 to 40 weeks, and you see that mucus plug on your cervix, I said it is pinkish, gel-like, sometimes mixed with blood, all at times it's just spottings. If you see such uh, a, a plug, a mucus plug onto your cervix, just know that that is the first sign of labor. If you see that plug, run to your hospital, run to your obstetrician in order for you to deliver very well. So that is the first sign of, uh, of labor. Another sign I'll talk about, which is also very important, is backache or what we call back pain. It doesn't sound serious, but in most cases, when a woman enters labor, she develops back pain. And that pain is usually down the lower, that waistline, 
that lower lower back the lower back when you look at the spine at the vertebra this vertebra and that lower part that almost uh, uh, that almost links up with the anal anal gap or the buttock that part that waistline usually women will feel that pain and it is one of the signs of labor another sign which is a little bit confusing is urge to urinate urge to urinate when a woman enters labor she develops frequency of urination she feels like she wants to do susu every time every time the blood is filling up every time and she susus and when she goes to do susu it, she just pees little very little urine comes back feels like she wants to go back and also actually that urge to to do susu comes with the urge to do pupu actually this is one of the reasons why most women do pupu during labor so it's common sense because uh, when during labor remember the head of the baby enters the pelvic bones so the head tries to fix itself downwards it tries to move downwards now when it moves downwards or when it descends when it engages itself into the pelvic brim it causes pressure it it, it pushes the bladder remember let's look at this anatomy very very fast when you look at at, at the anatomy of a woman or any human being the ut of a woman the uterus is in the middle of the rectum and the bladder what is the rectum a rectum is that structure of, of, of course it's like a, it's a large intestine the the the, the long the, the lower part of the large intestines that connects to the anal canal or that connects the anus i want you to understand this very well so when you look at your intestines you remember that biology uh, digestive system when you are drawing that digestive system where you could draw things like this those are intestines like this those are intestines now downwards there like here here this is the rectum this becomes the rectum and this is the anal canal now this rectum is behind the uterus and now in the front of the uterus is the bladder what is the bladder bladder is like a, a bag which keeps urine when urine comes from the kidney through the ureters it is kept momentarily in the bladder and then before it it, it is passed out before you do so, so before you pee now the, the the uterus is in between the bladder the rectum so in the front is the bladder behind is the rectum now when there is pressure when there is pressure in the in the in the uterus when the head exerts pressure in, on the cervical brim it will compress the it will compress the bladder and also compresses uh, the, the rectum thus the person or the woman will feel the urge to go and defecate or to go and do poopoo -poo, will also feel the urge to do susu -so. that is also the same reason as to why most women will do poopoo -poo during delivery when they are pushing the baby in most cases actually uh, my midwives usually tell me that the first baby is the poopoo -poo, and then the second baby is the other good baby another very important sign of labor is the rupture of membranes what most women say call my water has broken all what we call water break water breaking so when that water breaks or when the membranes rupture that is now it's it's like a very clear indication that the baby has to come out actually long ago studies used to tell us that when the when the uh, water when the waters break or when the membranes rupture a woman should deliver within the next 24 hours but this has become obsolete because there are a lot of factors now that have been put in however when the membranes rupture and the woman doesn't deliver in time then there is chance or there is a risk of transmission of infections to the baby and that's why most babies will get perinatal infections or even neonatal uh, uh, or even yeah even they can even get infections when they are still inside the the, the womb therefore uh, when the waters break then there should be a very clear plan to deliver that baby so waters breaking it's the membranes that are rupturing it's it's the amniotic fluid that is breaking and then it gives way to the fetus or to the baby to pass through now 
another very important point also all sign are the contractions this one everyone knows and actually most women do, may not recognize the other features i've talked about will only look at the contractions because it's where there is involvement of severe pain now when we are talking about labor contractions we should differentiate them from other contractions or from other pains they are what we call false contractions and they are also what we call the, the other contractions the black hicks contractions that happen on the 20th week on the 20th week Th these ones the blackstone hicks those ones are different from this with these contractions first of all they are frequent they are strong and painful painful frequent and strong so those are the contractions which will lead to labor of course those are the contractions of labor the true labor pains now another very important feature also is the loose feeling of joints what do i mean here most women actually i will say all women when labor begins they feel relaxed they feel like their joints are relaxed they feel like the joints are loose they feel that loose they, they feel that the joints are untightened they feel like the bones and so on are a little bit becoming soft in the joints and they are so relaxed this feeling is caused by a hormone called relaxin there is a hormone which is secreted by the ovary and also the placenta called relaxin when this hormone is secreted it causes that condition and this is what enables patricia this is what enables the baby to pass through so when this hormone is secreted the bones become a little bit soft and the joints and therefore the baby can be propelled through and a woman will be able to deliver so actually i have seen some uh, i think i will call it african chemistry or some traditions talking about giving a medicine that will make your bones break that's what that's how they say they call it that uh, uh, medicines that break the bones for you for, uh, to enable the baby to pass through but remember your body already has a hormone called relaxin that is going to help you to soften to untighten to relax those joints so that the baby can be delivered freely another feature and this one you may not realize it it's usually actually after reaching the hospital and then the doctor checks you that's when they will know about this sign it is called cervical dilatation cervical dilatation remember when i was teaching about uh, the previous topics i talked about the cervix and i said that the cervix is the pathway it is what or, or it, it it is what provides the pathway for the baby so First of all it's what provides the pathway for the sperms to form the baby and it's what provides the pathway for the baby to get out to be delivered. Now the cervix is the lower end of the uterus. It's like a gate and that gate is always tightly closed. It's always tightly closed. Now when labor begins the gate has to open slowly slowly and in a sequential manner. Now when when do we say that labor is active? I did explain this. There are two types of labor. There is what we call passive labor and active labor. When there is passive labor, you can have the other signs, but you do not have cervical dilatation. The cervix is not opening. However, when there is active labor, the cervix opens. The cervix opens. And the cervix, when the cervix reaches 4 centimeters, this is now done by experts or by the doctor or your midwife. We'll put the, the hands there actually when you, you, we are to assess that we clean you very well down there and then we put these two fingers inside your v push them there very well into your v we reach the cervix we try to check the cervix if it's opened if it's opened it will accommodate if it 
it is active labor it will accommodate two fingers so these two fingers each finger we we, we take it uh, to, to be having two centimeters so if it active uh, if it accommodates two fingers those are four centimeters and that is what we call active labor active stage of labor so if it accommodates four four uh, i mean two fingers that is four centimeters active stage of labor good cervical dilatation and now we expect it to continue opening almost every hour almost every hour opening about uh, 1 to 1 1.5 centimeters but again those factors also depend on the gravity and parity of the woman so because uh, a woman who is starting will open at a different rate as compared to a woman who has had many children so let's not look at that but just know that it will continue opening and now it has to, for, for a baby to pass through clearly for a baby for delivery to occur very well the cervix will open up to 10 centimeters it means the cervix will be able to accommodate almost all the five fingers of your hand and those are the signs of labor when you see those signs please rush to your gynecologist please rush to your doctor rush to your clinic so that you can have a safe delivery for those of you who are watching this channel for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe and also uh, press the notification bell in order to be notified of any important update we make and those of you who'd like to have a private chat a private conversation with me go to my website www.drusman.com and have an appointment we shall talk we shall discuss and find your solution celebrate we got the silver medal ask dr othman